for his death. He is pleased. A highly useful service for the rebellion, and in return I give you this. Pulls out a wand from his boot, wipes it off, and hands it to you. You wipe it off again when he isn't looking. You seem to have great promise for the rebellion, and I have more opportunities for you to prove your potential. Another job? Indeed I do, and you will not be alone this time. There is a scout of ours in the field. Her name is Danita. She is lurking, as per my orders, at the edge of the forest south of where you killed Tycho. She's trying to scout several locations of interest down there, but I think that she will need some help to overcome some of the obstacles. Go south to find her. Do what she says. How can I find her? South to the water, look at the edge of the woods to the west. And that is where she said she would be making camp while she looked for a safe path to her objectives. I bet she knows that I didn't kill Tycho. That's my guess. Actually, it'd probably be faster to do that. <laughs> that definitely would have been faster to come from the left. Oh wait, wait, before I do that, there's a canister over here. Oh, and these, I didn't even notice. <laughs> Fiery wand, terror wand, and ooh, curing spores. Nice. Oh. Oh, you guys are hostile. Fine. That's what you get. spray. That is the thing that just puts acid on people but doesn't damage them. Nope. I think I might be trying another no canister run. Not sure. I might use one. Depending. Shard field. Cloaca. My goodness. Barren land ahead is called Shardfield. There are blue crystal formations scattered across the rocky ground. You can hear a constant low ringing sound. Little motes of light flicker through the air around you. Like everywhere else in the Forsaken Lands and most of Terrestria, the ground has been scarred and torn up by recent battles. Creations abandoned by both sides wander the waste looking for food. There used to be sages living in this area studying the crystals and often harvesting them for their research. They are probably all long since fled. I bet there's one still around. Here's Danita. Poke. Lone scout walking up and down the edge of the shard field intently watching the lands to the east. She carries a baton in one hand, ready to fire it at an instant if threatened. She sees you, she recognizes... She watches you intently for a minute, then smiles and walks over to you. Easy to recognize you as one of ours. I'm Danita. I'm scouting these lands. Guess you're doing the same thing. How'd you know I was a rebel? See it in your skin, your eyes. You've been touched by the Gene Forge. It gives you, a, uh, she thinks, trying to choose a word, an aura. You look pretty odd to someone who knows what to look for. She smiles. Suddenly you start to feel angry. There is something about her attitude that infuriates you. The cheeriness, the lack of respect. You start to see flashes of red around the edges of your vision. Uh, try to calm down. Blink a few times, take some deep breaths, and try to relax. Nita watches you, somewhat confused, see, not seeing the struggle taking place inside you. Finally, you calm down. That's very strange. You don't remember anything like that happening before you came to South Forge Citadel. Nita says, are you alright? We should talk about what's been happening. Time is short. Will everyone recognize me as a lifecrafter? Only those who were trained? Ordinary people and soldiers? Probably not. Full shaper? Probably. Why are you out here? I'm scouting. I was sent to investigate the ruins of the east to look for signs of Shaper activity and, if I can, find the main Shaper camp if possible, the exact location, I mean. Uh, why haven't you scouted that yet? The pests to the east are a little denser than usual. Stealth won't be enough. I'd have to fight. I was hoping to get reinforcements before I went in. Uh, I say before I talk to her, I'm your reinforcements. He did. He did. You are? I suppose I'm grateful I finally got what I wished for. Right, you could support me with blessing and healing magic. That would be especially useful. Let me know when you're ready. Actually, I run up and stab things. That's kind of my gig. You ready? 
Desperately so. I'd like to return to the Citadel before the evacuation starts. I have a path all planned. I will move and you follow and support me with healing craft and help me dispatch the rogues and shaper creations. We will investigate the ruins to the east and see if I can find signs of the shapers. But be sure to stay close to me. I don't think I can handle everything out there alone. Sure. I have an essence pod. Uh, she's pretty tough. Alright, the rune is just south. I've been seeing lots of movement around there. I just need to duck in to make sure the shapers aren't hiding there. Good job, I guess. If they are there, I'm gonna reload. Steps through the uh, gate of the ruins, listens carefully, then she inspects the floor for tracks, shakes her head. No, no signs of shapers. This place is infested, to be sure by loose, uncontrolled creations looking for a lair to inhabit. No need for us to waste our time clearing it out. Our mission is almost complete, but first there's something I need to see. Follow me. What did you just kill? Support me with blessing magic, or just stab everything. That works too. Green Fang got two whole HP. Hey! I don't take that kind of thing laying down, you know. If she finds the main Shaper camp, winding along the water to the south, we know quite a few tracks, both human and creation. A lot of beings have been wandering up and down this isolated shore recently. Odd. This is very odd. Small trail, out of the way, heavily traveled, lots of tracks. Suspicious, I think. We may have found what we're looking for. Turning the Citadel, they need to know about this. I will put in a good word for you. Thanks for helping me. What should I do? Whatever your orders are. Takes a key out of the pocket and hands it to you. No time to return to my camp. This will unlock the box there. There's some supplies. Help yourself to them. Okay, I... Okay, this goes to a new area. Well, I'm going to go... Hmm. Wealth is a good temptation. Oh, 20 pounds of crystals. And they're all crap crystals, too. I think I'm just going to dump them. They're not... They are, like, what? Five, five apiece? Not worth it, for how heavy they are. You're suspicious, and then you're dead. Dirty, 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 dirty little thing. Dare you? Bite him! Perfect fire scale and a gem and another perfect fire. 
am I grabbing? These things... I was pressing A. Jeez. You know what? I could use some... Ethics. That was an interesting noise. And what do you know? Another essence pod. Yeah, they're only worth five apiece. Not worth my time. Oh, if I were a skin cloak... Well, there you go. Those worms slither on. I'm going to check out this ruin. charm. Always gotta find one of those. Shaper equipment is three pounds. Poke. Nope. I'm not using one of the uh, ten canisters you can use without going absolutely bonkers. Your affliction. You're crazy. Most of this old journal has been consumed by worms. Fortunately, a few pages were spared from their merciless jaws. One entry of note. The gemstone is the core ingredient of all crystal missiles. The difference is that it is treated with what it is treated with once it is placed on the enchanted forge. For example, the powder of a flawless crystal will bind frozen magic into the stone. Strands of wiry moss will divide the inherent magic of the stone, splitting into an array of missiles to smite one's foes. Boop. And nothing in there. Lots of worms. Let's check out this door. Two living tools. be worth one living tool, but not two. There's also another pack of worms around here somewhere. Oh, 
Healing spores, speed spores, curing spores. I don't have any healing spores. Oh yeah, I do. Right there. Alright, good. Blessed bauble, a little armor, and I guess I'll take that and a curing pod. This goes to the chickweed bridge. Let's go say hi to the Shapers, why don't we? Maybe we won't get killed! Hmm. That's a good use of a level. But I think the most important thing right now is getting leadership and mechanics up. There are so many leadership and mechanics checks in this game, and there, again, probably aren't enough living tools to open up everything without a decent mechanic skill. Path along the water here created by many passing humans and creations. Some of the tracks are boots, others are of huge clawed feet. Most are moving north. You stop and listen. First you notice a lack of animal sounds. Then you hear faintly in the distance the sounds of activity. Clanging of metal on anvils, spells being discharged, the shouts of training soldiers. You are not far from a large armed camp. You may have discovered the hidden base of the invading shapers, but you will need to get closer to see for sure. Looks like they left a bathtub out here. Dum da dum dum dum. Uh... So let me just unequip my dagger because, from what I recall, I need to approach unarmed, and I think I see a curing pod right there. I do. Fiora, rip out your throat because you have to approach unarmed. But even if I'm approaching unarmed, I'm still going to go through their stuff. Cloth bandage. Heal effect 9. Bolts of linen. We passed the camp getting a low look at the stacks of equipment and whips and rope that you used to control hordes of massive creations. Wagons to the transport supplies here at the camp note more clearly here. Must be huge. Strangely, no guards have been left out here. You haven't seen anyone yet, unless you're being watched right now. You have certainly seen enough to know where the enemy is camped. Or if you can see me, they're sure to see you. Bars of iron and tongs I don't need. Hi guys, what's going on? I want to say hi. Hello. Boat. Shaper dock. Path to main camp. Cloth. Uh. Hi. Ouch. Did I do something wrong? Maybe I'm supposed to approach alone? <laughs> Just, uh... Hi? Look, I'm not going through your stuff. I'm not doing anything. I'm just walking up. Try to save a camp, though. In these entries, there are plenty of alert guards. They point at you out and shout an alarm.